so this is hopefully the last time that I ever have to go to the mountaintop village my mind is set this night I've been throwing away so many things so I've just got two square meters you know of clothes and office and art and you know material and kitchen and stuff the tent uh, the blankets plus a bicycle and the two carpets that I gotta move otherwise this night I threw away the vacuum cleaner the air humidifier the heating element the ceramic one then uh, what else oh then yeah it's been 335 liter bags full of stuff so clothes I've thrown away like the plastic snow pants I don't want to be sweating with plastic pants anymore in my life I'm just gonna keep this one if it ever rains again so I need it then I threw away uh, I will throw away the uncomfortable winter shoes I threw away the plastic gloves because I figured I won't be shoveling snow this winter I will try to get away from here next month you know nobody has answered so far I wrote the emails I was planning yesterday but not the guy living in the east of Switzerland has answered nor the other people so I cannot really make plans until they answer so now it's Saturday I wrote yesterday maybe I'm a bit too quick in these things but you know my email is always open so if something comes in I answer so what did the house and land owner in the office say I want to meet you with the government and I go like oh no yeah, it's none of your business you're renting the house and the garden and all to me there is no Swiss law that makes you be obliged to talk to your you know house and landowner other than when it's in front of that semi court so she does know that so I wrote to her as that stating that so now I'm basically you know minimizing it all I've emptied the oil bottles I threw away the magnesium chloride because that one will always ruin my hair so if I got the psoriasis happening I don't want to have rotten hair as well then I threw away the t-shirts that end above my navel you know all things like that and so I filled three 35 liter bags I threw away a pile of books as well some kitchen stuff you know the bags for the vacuum cleaner and so on like the plastic gloves the extra one what the, the extra envelopes I had whatever I own or don't own if I'm needing anything we are living in Switzerland I can always go and buy these things right so if I need more envelopes I'll buy them if I need oh yeah a life-saving vest I threw that one away as well because I figured if I ever am on a rubber boat I might buy one or I might be even better off with my waterproof bag in there I have stuff but this life-saving vest may just clock up everything so I'm not that very well you know uh, moving within my boat like the rubber boat uh, plants that I have to go onto the river in the west of Switzerland and on the two lakes there that one I really want to do before I go couch sailing or do anything 
abroad. So now it's go and find a community. So if I live there, I can always have my art and everything. Just stay there when I am traveling. I cannot be, you know, living at the place where I'm the only one emptying the letterbox because if I ever go abroad, the government writes me. I need to go collect those letters and then I had to take action. And also, I can rent out my room or just they rent it out to someone and when I come back, I'll get it back. See what I'm saying? I'm now doing these extra steps towards water, like the water of the lakes over there in the west and the river and then also the couch sailing because for that one I need money I need to be kind of yeah and also I don't want to be up here during winter I want to be like in you know during summer I want to have the opportunity to be in the water in Zurich that's possible now that I've had a summer here too summers one summer was full of bike rides and visiting like all the you know I walked up there I've been you know to places around here so right now this summer I wasn't satisfied with the water situation I would have loved to have some lake or river to be swimming next summer I will do that so yeah I've been washing my clothes and then all the stuff that I want to throw away I'm wearing right now so that one like this t-shirt which has a ugly color it's not so good for me to wear colors that are too pastel like not this one because my eyes are about the same color so that's no good so I'm trying to reduce it all and also let's say uh, uh, like thinking about stuff if I go um, keeping the plastic snow pants what I will end up will be having to deal with sweat during winter now that I know you know I'm not gonna shovel snow I made up my mind whenever there is snow happening during winter time I will then be walking in comfortable shoes the ones I got from the cheap farmer store you cannot roll like this you know they are just flat and you sweat because there is no exchange of air nothing and the wetness stays inside so yeah I'm like really going through things with my mind and if things have ever been negative why not throw them away and do them totally different so I kept the snow jacket if there ever I encounter a lot of snowfall I can have a snow jacket this primitive sound you will only find in farmer villages so in the end even these trousers I'm gonna throw away and I'll keep the nice ones that I can wear for going out as well with these you know I just crawl along the floor I don't want to go out with them so that's it I'm in this rotten ugh, mountain village you know where it's well known that the people are backing each other up and otherwise they are very greedy they don't like each other's wealth so yeah now I just have to find a place to go then I'm ready send the bicycle the carpets the clothes and then all the other things I just take myself go there by train I really don't own that much anymore so see you